Hello everyone, welcome to CEO IT Box. So in this short video, I'm going to tackle another big problem that is faced by almost all business owners, that is collection of payments. The biggest issue that I found is to send regular updates to customers regarding the pending payments. Unfortunately, the accounts department is busy with so many tasks that it is impossible for them to keep sending regular requests for payments to all the customers in a systematic way. For this, we are using this specially created sheet developed by the programmers at CUID Box. So this is simply a list of all the debtors. So you have here the name of the companies, the name of the person who is responsible for your payment, the email address, and also email CC. If you want to put in multiple addresses, it is okay. You can do that by putting commas. So you can have multiple addresses separated by commas. This is the total amount that is due. These are the invoice numbers, uh, the due date by which the invoice is due. The outstanding dates are calculated automatically from the last due date. And here you can put in remarks. Not only can you put in remarks, but in fact, you can also put a link to the ledger. So in case you have multiple invoices and you don't want to put it up like this, you can always put in like this, see attached ledger for details. And here you can put up the total amount. So this is the first part of the sheet, which is very, very simple and easy to maintain. Let me show you the second part. This part contains the template of the message that will be sent to the customer. So it simply includes dear. This will be the name of the customer. This is the variable for the name of the customer. This will be automatically replaced by the name of the company, the total amount that is due, the invoice numbers, the outstanding days and the ledger. And this is simple text which can be changed and replaced by you as per your uh, own personal liking. The name of your company and other details can be entered here. Here we have the subject. So here, for example, your payments overdue to this triple X will be replaced by your company name. You can also put in a BCC email ID where you can get a copy of all the messages that are sent. What time do you want to send this email? So this sheet is designed to send a weekly reminder. So you can enter the time that is maybe 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. For me, Tuesday works best so that my team can update this debtors list on Monday. And these emails will go out on Tuesday at 11 a.m. Currently, this sheet is not in auto mode. You will see that this sheet contains a special menu item called CUID box. And I can click on this and click on create trigger. I just need to provide the authorization once. This only needs to be done just once for the sheet. And after that, it works automatically. And as you will see that the trigger will now be set up. So this message indicates that the trigger has been set up send emails automatically every Tuesday at 11 hours from this email ID. So the trigger is already ready to go. So your accountant will put in all the entries or update the entries depending on what payments have been received by him during the week or new payments that are falling due. And then put an X against those payments where he needs to send the reminder. Many times we may receive a check and we are just waiting to have the check in cash before we remove this X or this entry altogether. So he can put an X against those entries where he feels that reminder needs to be sent and automatically this reminder will be sent. You also have an option of sending it manually. So let me just try and send the reminder manually for demo purposes. So as you can see here that automatically uh, a note has been inserted against this email address which mentions that this reminder has been sent on 9th April at 22.30. So let us go to my email and let us check. Yeah. So let us see here. So as you can see here, dear Mr. X, payment due status for example company, a payment of this much amount is due. Total outstanding is this much and invoice numbers you can see attach ledger for details outstanding days and here is the ledger.
let me click on this so you can save the ledger you can upload the ledger this is just a sample document so you can upload any kind of document whether it's an excel sheet or a pdf to your google drive and by clicking on this button you can get a link and that link can be inserted here in the remarks column you can be even multiple links so even if you have multiple documents you also want to put in invoice numbers so that is not a problem you can simply uh, keep on adding so there is no limit there so this sheet has really helped us a lot because now we can tell our customers that uh, this is an automated reminder generated by our ERP and uh, in case they want to stop getting these reminders they just simply have to make the payment and uh, now instead of just having a verbal discussion we have a legal proof that we have been chasing the payment for a long time and uh, a lot of our alumni students that tell us that 60 to 70 percent of their payments are simply getting recovered automatically just because of this single sheet so do join our tech mastery program to learn about this and many other amazing technologies for more details please visit www.techmastery.in that is www.techmastery.in thank you once again this is Sanjeev from CEO ID Box.